Welcome to Sam Cars. So I am so excited to share with you my Sam Cart tutorial. There are many tutorials out there, but look, today I'm going to show you the basics so you get an understanding of what Sam Cart can do for you and your business. So here we are. When you first sign up for Sam Cart, which by the way, I'm going to leave a link in the comments below where you can get a 14 day free trial. So you can test out all the nooks and crannies and everything I'm talking about. So you'll sign up, you'll get a free account, you can try for 14 days. You will log in, you'll see your account. Up here is the Sam Cart little logo, then there's products, activity, upsells, reports, apps. And then on the right hand side, there's notifications. So it's any messages that Sam Cart wants to share with you. Over here is Creator You. And you guys, oh my goodness, every single thing you need to actually launch, grow, and scale your business online, it is included in the Creator University. The Sam Cart Black Box, it has six videos here. It walks you through everything, okay? You will never be left alone in the dark of like, what do I do next? Especially if this is brand new for you. Question mark is the help tab. And then, of course, your settings. So let's go over what's important. First off, when you click settings, one of the big things is the processor, Definitely, you need to include how you're going to receive payment when you make a sale in SamCart. So you want to hook up your Stripe account, or if you have a Braintree account, Easy Pay Direct or PayPal, you want to connect a processor. Okay. Next thing, you go down the list, and then there's integrations. So if you have an email automated system CRM that you use, something like AWeber, Constant Contact, uh, ConvertKit, you want to include those integrations here. So what you would do is click on integration. And if you're brand new to signing up for SamCart, it will obviously be blank here. So you would click the button that says new integration. And then it says, what integration would you like to add? Active campaign, AWeber, constant contact, blah, 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 goes through the entire list. If there's something there that you don't see, you can most likely connect it using a product called Zapier. Zapier, um, Zapier, I don't know how you pronounce it, uh, will connect you to the integration that you're trying to integrate with SamCart if you don't see it in the list. What is the benefit of this? Well, when somebody makes a purchase, say in your SamCart um, dashboard, if you have an integration like this for AWeber, we would then, when a purchase is made in SamCart, it would automatically trigger the list in AWeber that would then put them into a sequence of emails. So thank you for your purchase. And then it would wait two days and then send another, you know, whatever emails you have set up. So that's the whole point of integrations. Email. Uh, this is self-explanatory, really. Email footer, enable subscription charge receipts. You just go down the list and choose what you want. Custom fields, if there's anything you want to include here. Users, if you have anybody else on your team that you would like access to your account, you would include there. So first thing is creating a product, okay? So you would click on the button called products. You would click new product. You would name your product, test product number one. You would make a description for your product, uh, testing product for online marketing. You would just make up whatever it is. Now the pricing type, you can make it a one-time payment, a recurring payment. So if that's like a monthly subscription, you can make it a limited subscription. So say if you chose limited subscription, the subscription price was say $47 a month. SamCart then asks you how many charges? Well, we want them to sign up for three months. 
recurring period, monthly. Trial period, no. And then you would click create product, okay? Pay what you want, another great option to allow people to pay what they want. Give them a value. So up here in the description, I would say value is $1.99. And then you could choose pay what you want and then create product. So if we click the button, we will make a minimum of at least $50. Create product. Boom! You've created a product in SamCart. This is how easy it is. Now, the juicy stuff is product image. So you would upload uh, an image that you have for your product. Select file. It would go to your computer. You would connect your computer file to this and you would upload it, right? And then if you go down, you don't need to do anything else here. You could uh, include, is this a digital or service product or is it a physical product? If it's a physical product, this is the shipping. Ships to United States. If it's a single item, we charge $20 for shipping. Each additional item is 10 bucks. Everywhere else, it's 50. You know, you could make something up, whatever it is. But for this example, we are going to say it's a digital service product. Okay. And then you upload your digital file. And you just honestly, you guys, you just point and click. Okay. So let's go back up. So we're on the first tab, product details. Second is the checkout design. How do you want your checkout page for your clients to look like? Right? What do you want it to look like? You can make a choice. Let's choose. Let's choose this one for the example. Okay. And then we are going to click save changes. And then we're going to move to payments. So it says edit processor integration. We have Stripe connected. Allow credit card payments is on. Digital wallets is off. Okay, so that's good. Upsells. So here is the opportunity for you to make an upsell. So if you're a coach, author, speaker, trainer, a lot of upsells might be a private one-on-one -on -one session. So in this instance, you would, aside from building this product, you would build a funnel, which may just consist of a one-page landing page, which is your funnel, and you would choose it here. First, you would have to create the funnel, and then it would show up here in your dropdown. So if you were upselling a product for a one-to-one -one session, you would click on this test funnel, but I'm not going to do that for this example. You would click on one-to-one -one, because you would have already created that funnel. Okay. You would collect, you would uh, select that, and then you would hit right down here. That would be an order bump. So the person would purchase your product on a monthly subscription, and then they would be offered the order bump, which is the upsell to your one-to-one -one product, okay? This is a huge moneymaker. If you're not offering your clients this, it's a massive missed opportunity in creating more value for your customer and more revenue for you and your business, okay? So that's the upsells. Uh, button here, tab, emails, customize product emails. If you want to customize the emails, send for the product instead of using the global defaults in the settings, you would sl switch this to on. But we have this integrated with Aweber. So we already have the emails set up in Aweber to trigger once they purchase a product in SamCart. Integration is just what I talked about. SEO, Allow search engines to crawl my pages. So if you would like your product page to be searched by online search engines, you would select on. And then you would create an SEO page title as well as a description, keeping in mind keywords that you want to use so that the SEO search engines will find you. And then the advanced settings 
is if you have any HTML or scripts in the header, the footer, uh, pixels. So this is more kind of advanced. But you guys, this is really an overview of SAMCART. This is how simple it is. Then once you're finished, you would say save changes. And when you click the design button over here, that goes into your actual page information. So over here is the template that we chose. But if you wanted to add a headline, for example, confirm purchase here. Okay. Uh, you can add a header. So that would be good. I'm going to click publish. I'm going to go back to click design. And honestly, these pages are like drag and drop. So if I wanted to put an image over here, I don't want to. So I'm just going to delete that. If I wanted to put a video here, I would click on this box. It comes up over here, video source, YouTube. You would type in the youtube.com URL. You can change the width and the height, alignment. That's it. But I don't want a video, so I'm going to delete progress bar. You could add a progress bar up here if you like. You could change how it appears. Make it like that. And then once you're done everything, you would click publish. This is how simple SAMCART is. I'm a ClickFunnels user, so I come from pretty much a pretty complicated software program uh, to SAMCART, and it is like night and day. It's point and click. You don't need any technical skills. Everything is self-explanatory. And if I can do it, you can do it too. So that's a general brief overview of what SAMCART is all about. So let me ask you this. Are you ready to try 14 days for free and launch your knowledge, your wisdom, your expertise out into the world, into the form of a course or a training? And if you don't have your own course or training put together, what about offering somebody else's course or training? Because let me tell you this, almost every single program on the planet has an affiliate program. So you can join their affiliate program and sell. And you can make a commission off of what you sell. So the question is, are you ready? And if the answer is yes, click the link in the comments below. Let's get you started. Let's get you moving and grooving and getting on the SAMCART bandwagon.